And now, your first alert five weather. Yesterday was one crazy weather day, wasn't it? We still saw some of that upslope flow present and kept those stratus clouds in place down in the Pikes Peak region. Did deliver a little bit of accumulation to parts of southern Colorado. I actually was up in Keystone doing some skiing. Once we got past Park County, the skies cleared up. We had Bluebird Day up there at Keystone Mountain. Light winds. It was absolutely fantastic conditions. Planning to get up there again next week. Got to take advantage of these next few weeks before the ski season is gone. Now for tonight, we'll see some cold temperatures locally, warmer highs on Sunday, further warming in the next week. We are tracking a few midweek showers, nothing too exciting on the radar for the middle of the week, but maybe something brewing as we head towards next weekend. All right, so here's a look at what we're seeing right now out of Wolf Creek ski area. Get this with the latest storm total of nearly two feet of snow. The resort is now eclipsed 400 inches for the season. I was there shooting an adventure last week. That story will be airing next week, and I got to tell you, I had a lot of fun up there. Take a look at the Cheyenne Mountain Cam. Looks like some ice still frozen on the cam up there. Maybe our engineers are watching and can get up there and sort of get it to thaw. I think with the warmer temperatures tomorrow, that'll probably be the case. Right now in the springs, we are above freezing, sitting at 44 degrees. You can see in Pueblo, we are at 48 outside on this Saturday afternoon. And let's get you right into that Sunday forecast. Layer up as you head outside early. We will see teens in both areas during the morning hours, but things warm up nicely through the afternoon under mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And I think with that warm up, we should eclipse the low 50s in the springs and warm into the middle to upper 50s down south in Pueblo. Looking off to our west, here's the next storm system prepared to impact parts of California and the Pacific Northwest. This will spread rain and snow showers into that part of the country beginning tomorrow morning. And some of that energy starts to make it into the Four Corners region by Sunday night and Monday morning. And this is really going to set the stage for, again, some pretty beneficial moisture up in the mountain areas. Cold front tries to move off the mountains Monday night, and I think as it does so, it looks like from the Palmer Divide northward, there could be a few passing light showers that do develop late Monday, but generally south of that, we should stay dry. Overnight lows tonight down to the teens up and down the I-25 corridor, 9 in Westcliff and 10 in Woodland Park. Highs tomorrow into the 30s and 40s in the mountain areas and mountain valleys. We'll see 50s, even some upper 50s out across the southeastern plains. Here's your seven, super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Spring begins Monday afternoon again, partly to mostly cloudy skies with about a 10% chance we see something here locally, although again, most of it I think passes to our north breezy on Tuesday and then we're really windy Wednesday with maybe a few isolated showers, perhaps another chance of snow looking all the way out to next weekend for Pueblo. We go from the 50s tomorrow to the 60s and we'll string those together for at least three consecutive days before some cooling trends in that late week forecast period for Canyon City. I've got 50s beginning on Sunday. Pretty nice start to spring here with mid 50s, mostly cloudy skies, and then we're into the upper 50s Tuesday with maybe a few isolated rain showers by Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night and in Woodland Park. I've got us dry on Sunday and Tuesday. Maybe a few passing afternoon to evening snow showers Monday and again, possibly some additional moisture as this sort of setup I explained does favor the mountains through next week so they can see some light snow again Wednesday to Thursday, but nothing over the next seven days looking too significant outside of the mountains out west.